All right, I'll be explaining the fatal flexures. So it's L4, L5, S1, S2, S3, S4, no, not participating. Now, give branch on either side. This becomes the dorsal compartment. What becomes, I'll be writing it right now. Just the venture. Okay? Now, okay, S3 doesn't have a branch this side. It's individual. Watch how I bifurcate them. Trifurcation. Trifurcation. Bifurcation. Get it? Bifurcation, bifurcation. And then trifurcation in the inside. Now, Take a point here, here, connect the top three on either side. Same here. Alright. Now second, connect this, this, the closer one. Shouldn't be so hard. And, and this one as well. Now the remaining, connect them too. There you are. Now, the labeling. This is the superior gluteal. And this is the inferior gluteal. And uh, this will be the common peroneal with its origin L4, L5, S1, S2, S1, S2. This side, this will be the nerve to operate internals. This peroneal com uh, common peroneal of the sciatic nerve. Similarly on this side, the tibial component of the shattic nerve. So this will have its origin L4, L5, S1, S2 and S3. Now the remaining is nerve to quadratus. I guess it's lumbar, I'm not sure. Just, just check it. Hmm. Now, S1 and S2. They connect. S2 and S3, they connect. This becomes the nerve to pyriformis. This becomes the levator ani. And coccygenophony. Yes. And there you are. This will be the sacral function. Thank you so much for watching. Don't subscribe. Not needed.